Cleveland Cancer Society on TV in association with Mac the Knife Global. With you, I've got Joe Gallagher. Hello, Joe. Yeah, not so bad, too, can you? Yeah, all good, mate. That yeah, was some rent you had there. Some what? Some rent you had there. Was it? Yeah. And I didn't know, I was just letting everybody know, just leave poor Anthony alone, get him on the training. Trouble with Anthony, Crap Coogan, you know and I know. He can't say no. Oh, Anthony, we just come and open these trophies, present them. Oh, Anthony, we just come for this. And Anthony go, oh, I can't, enjoy. all right, and just for half an hour. Oh, Anthony, we just come and open this. Oh, I can't, he just can't say no. Now, I spoke to Anthony about going away in a training camp. Glothican's in Big Bear, do you understand? And it's just like, you've got to get selfish for this fight, Anthony. Not all many British fighters get a chance to fight for the Ring Magazine belt twice. Never mind once, but twice. You've got a second opportunity on your doorstep. So if everyone considers them as his friend, as a fan and everything else, get the tickets from Manchester Arena or Matchroom. Don't go either and answer. I need Anthony. Fully rested after his training, home, sleep, rest and train. Because I want Anthony to win this fight. And if he don't win it, these Manchester Knights ain't got a good last forever. We need them to continue. We've had great nights. And this could be a fantastic story here for Anthony Crow to become crowned the Ring Magazine, WC Dine, WB. It can be done. Can, can there be a better Hogan than Harris? I think there can be. I said to you before last time, I think there'll be a good Hogan than Harris. Can Crowley be better? Yes, he can. That's what's got to make a great fight. But I need him fully rested. I need him focused. I need him to be horrible. I need him to be nasty. I need him to be sm snarling. I, I need him to be a CUNT. I need him to go in there with a, 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 a will and a win and a drive, a determination and a focus to absolutely do or be dude. That don't make sense, does it? Well, there you go. Do be <laughs> no, do be right. do. We'll roll with that. We'll roll with that. Yeah. But um, with the experience of actually being in the ring with Lenares doing the 12 rounds, that's obviously, he knows what he has to do, how he has to be better. You know how he has to be better. But um, yeah, I mean, it was a great fight, the first one. Um, of Anthony's own admission, uh, Linares was the better man yeah, of the night. Um, but he wants to make that right, put that right, you want to put that right, come 25th of March. Yeah, definitely. Listen, Hogan Linares, you've seen that there. I was in the corner when he was opening up at times. I was like, flipping hell. Do you know what I mean? I told everyone, I felt like saying, I told you it'd be good, I told you it'd be good. No one was telling me, oh, he's shot, he's got a bad hand, and won't buy none of it. Like I said to you, Robert Diaz did a great job with him last time, babysitting him his whole camp. And did a good job cheerleading from the side of the ring with him as well. But I just need Anthony to just be 100% focused on it. Because if he isn't, I'm saying now, Linares is coming for the knockout this time. And we're not, we cannot be knocked out in the arena in front of everyone. That's what I'm saying and stressing to everyone. Linares is coming to finish the job. And he knows he can hurt Anthony. And we've got to turn around and go, nah, you're not. And push back. Joe, I just want to ask you about a couple of other things. Obviously, we know now that um, the belt, um, Barry Jeff has vacated that WBT title. Yeah. Um, what, what have you sort of, what do you know about that situation? Anything new on that? No, just the WBC have called for the fight for Anthony Durrell now to fight Cam yeah. Smith and goes out to purse bids. Um, I think purse bids are due February 17th, 27th, something on them lines. Um, so that's it. So Callum looks like V. Durrell for the WBC title. Whether Eddie gets out the checkbook and it comes to Liverpool Echo Arena or Heyman pulls it out and it ends up being in Vegas. So we'll see. But like you say, that, that's, that's the fight. Callum's fighting for the world title next. But obviously if it can be here, in, well not here, but in Liverpool, oh, it'll be that brilliant. Liverpool yeah. Echo Arena, that's something else. And you've seen, you've been around there. Um, were you there in LA when Kel Brook won? Yeah. And he fought in the undercard, he's there, he's got an entourage, all barking like dogs and everything else. Yeah, yeah. They'll bring a presence with them over to Liverpool as well and uh, there'll be some atmosphere that night, won't it? Absolutely. Um, just a quick note on um, Liam Smith, he's taking yeah. on Liam Williams uh, on the 8th of April in Manchester. Your thoughts on that, Jeff? Yeah, um, got announced yesterday, spoke to Liam last night, this morning, he's gone off for two weeks now just to get his head right and get a couple of weeks training in camp and uh, get back then ready for the fight with Liam Williams. Great fight, juicy fight. Liam Williams has made a good improvement over the last year or two with Gary Lockett, doing a great job. And by the response you've seen on Twitter yesterday, you could see it's a good, solid trade fight. Um, Liam, like I say, is coming back off, he's lost to Canelo. But we all know that wasn't the best Liam Smith of preparation, but like you say, it's a, it's a really good fight and I can't wait to get back to, to work with Liam and uh, that April the 8th. Hasn't been announced for a world title as such, but there are rumours that it could be for Canelo's vacant world title when he vacates it. 
Is that the case? Right, okay, thank you. You know more than me. Well, so the rumour mill. You were at the press yesterday, I wasn't, oh, yeah. so <laughs> all I know is that he's fighting Liam Williams April the 8th, Manchester Arena, and that's all we've got to do. Whatever yeah. belt's on the line, Liam Smith will be 100% prepared. If it's for a world title, it'll be absolutely fantastic, and uh, it'll be fitting for such a, um, uh, such a, a good fight. All right, Joe, listen, thanks for talking to IFL TV, and I'm sure we'll catch up with you in the coming weeks. Very busy period for your gym and boxing in general, so. Yeah. Cheers. Good. All thanks, right. Google. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Time, mate.